my creative friends, Olga Sobi here and welcome to a new acrylic pouring video. Today it's going to be a Dutch pour. So I haven't done a Dutch pour in a long time and I have been getting a lot of requests from you. So guys, here we go. Um, for the Dutch pour, all of my colors are mixed with just water. So paint plus water only. No other additives, no pouring medium, floor drill, nothing like that. Just keeping it really simple. And I am super happy to announce that our acrylic pouring A to Z course is released. If you haven't heard of it, this is the course that we have created together with Rinske Dauna and Molly from Molly's Artistry and myself. And in this course, we take you through supplies, recipes, troubleshooting, of course, techniques. And Dutch pour is one of the techniques included in the course. So there you can learn more about uh, mixing, consistency, color selection, and so much more. So in case you want to check out this course, we are offering the introductory price till the end of this year. And the link is smartartcourses.com. So definitely check it out. I will include the link in the description of this video as well. And now, Let's get started with today's dash pour. So today I'm working on 12 by 12 wood panel. And like I said, all of my colors are mixed with um, paint and water only to a very fluid consistency. I will include a bit more details about it in the description on the proportion and stuff like that, as well as the brands of the colors. So here I have a titanium white that will be a base of my dash pour. And this is turquoise, dioxazine purple, azo pink, uh, primary red, and gold. So, first, I'm gonna cover my canvas, my wood panel, with a thin layer of white. And I have taped the back. I want to keep the wood edge, so I don't need to worry about covering the edges today. So next I'm just quickly torching my base layer to pop the air bubbles that are in the paint from mixing. And now I'm gonna create a puddle of color. I go just slightly off the center. here around my colors and here comes the fun part I'm gonna blow it out some beautiful cell action here right away love it This looks so beautiful. Absolutely love the center here and the more gentle edges. Now I'm just going to work on uh, some details. So my base was very thin before the blowout 
and now I made it a bit more white where I want to blow a bit more which helps the paint to move more freely in those areas. I just love how it comes together, just a few small touches left. I think I'm finished here and I have to say, wow, I am in love with this. First of all, the color combo is gorgeous. And this pour turned out very expressive. To me, it looks like a flower under the water. I worked on some of these edges a little more because I wanted to make them uh, a little more airy and make it look like it's floating. And I really love these sections, especially this one with the uh, turquoise and some of the yellow, not the yellow, the gold, the red, the pink. It looks almost like a rainbow of colors. I will bring you for a close-up just in a moment. And of course, this section here with some gorgeous cell action. I am in love. I totally, totally love this pour. So yeah, let me bring you for a close-up to show some of these details. So this is the section I was talking about. I think it's almost like a gradient effect. It's so beautiful. Such a smooth transition. And this section to me is a little too busy. It looks like a burst of colors. It's very pretty right here. Now this smooth transition of colors. But I really, really like this part. And no silicone, guys, in any of the colors. If you want to learn this Dutch pour technique uh, in more depth, in more details from Technique Originator, Rinz Kadauna, and also from Molly from Molly's Artistry, who is also doing it super successfully, uh, definitely check out that course. And let me know if you want to see more Dutch pours on my channel in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Happy boring.